Hello, Rob Gegner here with our new friends on the street. This is Julia, Hello. Keegan, Hi. and this guy, Jason. 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 I forgot his name. <laughs> and we're talking about being an entrepreneur and escaping the clutches of the big brother. Back to Pippa to ask some questions. So I want to ask you guys first of all what the word entrepreneur means. Wait, what do you think of when you hear the word entrepreneur? Uh, I think of somebody that's either starting a business or doing their own thing and trying to make a living by, you know, doing something different or just doing it on their own, not necessarily joining a company. And oh, I like that. Good yeah. good answer. I would, I would say that's mine too. Yeah? yeah. Ditto. <laughs> have you ever considered being an entrepreneur yourself? I have. Actually, Jason and I have thought about opening a brewery or something like that. Like here. Yeah. Especially, and so do we. Especially around here. Yes. Like here. Lots of I've noticed. Yes, we noticed the last time. As we stroll through the fighting city, what do you think is generally people's perception when you talk about entrepreneurs? What, what do you think generally people think? I guess somebody that's pretty self driven, going trying to push the bounds of society to make their own way through the world. And I feel like some people might be jealous that those people have the drive to go and do that instead of going into an office like maybe that. I decide. Is that guy? <laughs> yeah. So why, why do you think they don't just, you know, get a job and stop? They don't want to. <laughs> they don't say, want say to. <laughs> they don't want to. But why? Sucks. Yeah, whatever. Well, because everyone complains about it. I mean, I don't know what the. But society are. says that you should. Well, it's just, I think I think that everyone. One of the goals is that whatever it is that's gonna make you money is something that should make you happy. And most of the time, you know, something that make you makes you happy might not be something that someone already else is doing. It's something that you want to do on your own. So that's why you're like branching off. Philosophical. Awesome. Yeah. So, I love all your answers here. And since since everybody would, you know, gets a little bit jealous, you know, with entrepreneurs, and, and everybody still goes and does these jobs, why don't you think that everybody just goes out and does things for themselves? It's risky. I think it's because it's risky. And I don't think everyone's jealous. I think some people are really happy with, you know, because it, it's, it's a lot more, um, yeah, it, it's, it's more secure to just get a job somewhere and it's less risky to just work your 9 to 5 and all you got to do is work your hours. And, and there's a lot more you have to take care of when you're trying to run your own business and do your own thing. So, um, yeah, I think it's scary and risky and it sometimes takes a lot of capital if you want to be an entrepreneur and you might not have that. Um, so. so what if I said that the company we're with to get started is only $25 a month? How would you feel about that? What do you mean by <laughs> the, the blogging platform to get started that we work with is only $25 a month. Granted, to get it running properly, you do need the education, but if you go to school, how much do you pay for college education? More than $25. Oh, more than $25, more than $25 a month. month. That's for sure. Well, $25 is, you know, that gets you started. So let's, let's say to learn how to use and market this product properly, you pay $1,000. So why is it considered being an entrepreneur if you are doing it through another company? We're using the system that they laid out because they created the training system that we are using and then re-implementing so that other people can learn how to use it. But the they is the whole point that you become an entrepreneur, isn't it? To get away from the they and be your own. Nice challenge, right? So, which is correct. Can I address <laughs> I would love it she's good. She's good. Awesome. No, that, that's I'm awesome insane. actually. So so the, the, the system that we're utilizing is merely a tool. If your friend started a brew pub, they would have to buy the tools. I don't actually like big drums, yeah. copper drums or yeah, something. Okay. They would they would have tools from somebody else and somebody would teach them how to do it. Basically that's what we have um, we we become a part of an organization of people that know how to do things that we don't know how to do, like I'm old, so, you know, I don't know this stuff, but I'm learning how to do that stuff, and by way of learning how to do this stuff, I'm able to fulfill my own personal mission in helping others learn to live life on their terms, basically to create wealth, and really it comes down to that, because wealth is a tool, and 
with that tool, I can hang out here and chat with strangers in Denver if I want to, or I can go to the beach if